Good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. My name is Councilmember Danny Drum and I'm the chair of this committee. We've been joined by Councilmember Keith Powers, Councilmember Barry Gudenshik, Councilmember Steve Matteo, Councilmember Vanessa Gibson, Majority Leader uh, Lori Cumbo, uh, Councilmember Andy Cohen, and others are on their way. Today we'll be voting on four items, a budget modification, a transparency resolution, and two land use items. Let's start with the budget modification. This expense budget modification would transfer funds between, uh, from the miscellaneous budget to the budget of the Department of Small Business Services for construction safety training. The council mandated this training as part of Local Law 196 enacted last year. Next, we have the transparency resolution, which sets forth the new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Organizations appearing in the resolution that have not yet completed the pre-qualification process conducted by the Mayor's Office of Contract Services, the Council or another entity are identified in the attached charts with an asterisk. As with all transparency resolutions, council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organization, organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Leon Chang from the General Counsel's Office is here and can assist you with any questions or concerns regarding disclosures. We will also be voting on two land use items. The first is 2524-26 Adam Clayton Powell Boulevard in Councilmember Perkins District in Manhattan. This would provide a full 40-year Article 11 tax exemption to preserve 18 units of affordable rental housing through the city's HDFC program. The second item is Jamaica Crossings in Councilmember Miller's District in Queens. In November 2015, the council granted an Article 11 exemption to this project. The resolution we are voting on today would make a technical amendment to the previously granted exemption to clarify that the community facility proportion, portion of the building would be subject to taxation. Both council members are supportive of these actions. And uh, are there any questions on the items? But before I go to questions, let me just say we've been joined by council member, council member Francisco Moya, council member Jimmy Van Bremer, and council member Robert Cornegy. Any questions? Okay, with that, I'm going to ask Billy Martin, the committee clerk, to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on finance. All items are coupled. Chair Drum. I vote aye. Gibson. Cohen. Aye. Cornegie. Aye. Cumbo. I vote aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Grodenchik. Aye. Moya. Aye. Powers. Aye. Matteo. Aye. A vote of 10 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Okay, and with that, we will keep the vote open for another 15 minutes. Thank you.